Let's head outside right now and so we can get down and dirty and get ready to exercise with all of our pups. And yes. There they are going to town. Yes, this workout is much more than just a walk. It's strength, cardio, and agility training for you and your pup. And Angie Aramburu, the owner and instructor next. of Go Fetch Run, is here to show us some of the newest fitness activities they've designed for you and your dog. Hello, hello. Who do we have here, Hi. first of all? This is Sprinkles. She was a rescue. She's about three years old. Hi, Sprinkles. By the way, that is Max in, in front of Sprinkles there, yes. our dog. So, yes. All right, so the whole point of this is to just kind of bond with your dog and get a little exercise in because people like to take their dog for a walk, but take it one step further, right? Exactly. It's a great way to get in a really good, intense workout when you don't just want to walk the dog or run with the dog. And some dogs aren't very good runners, so it allows you to get in a good workout. Your dog gets exercise. They can practice basic training skills and learn a few new tricks. And it's less boring, you know, for them, too. It keeps them engaged if you for change sure. it up. Okay. It is. And it's the most fun workout, I think, that you'll find. Okay. And okay. if the obstacles are too hard, like, say, for, for little Max here, we can we can modify it, right? Yeah, everything can be modified for dogs and people. So it truly is for anyone if or any dog. It's going to be okay, Mike. If he would just try, he could make it over that. We'll, we'll see that later. Yeah. Okay. All right. So what's this first one right here? So we're going to start with our agility run through the cones. And we have? We have Celine and Zeus. Oh wow, they make it look very easy. <laughs> Okay, so yeah, trick, thank you, Max, for your bark of support there. The <laughs> trick to this one is you want to keep a short leash at your side. Okay. That keeps control of the dog, which is a good right. training Ready, technique, and it also keeps them from tripping you or, or you tripping over them. Okay. Nicely good done. Nicely good done. Very good. Very okay. good. Okay. okay. You got style points there, Max. <laughs> you, you, you done good. So. Okay. And of course, where do classes take place? At Phil Hardberger Park. Phil Hardberger Park off of Blanco. And our season grand opening, which will be our third year, is Sunday, September 8th at 8.30 a.m. And that is perfectly normal. <laughs> okay, all right, so this, this next obstacle, because um, Celine just tried yes. to do it. Maybe yes. we can come back and try it and, try and show easy, it off again. It comes off easy, so it but, doesn't mm -hmm. trip you. So right. would you like me to demonstrate yep, again, short leash? If you want it more challenging, you can do two feet. If you want less challenging, one. Sorry, Sprinkles. So you do the jump, and then you invite your dog to do the jump after you. Come on, Sprinkles! <laughs> <first step. laughs> okay, ready, okay. Hot out here. All right, here. <laughs> I'll, I'll modify it if no. Max, okay, if Max doesn't want to do it, okay? Running start. Here we go, Max. One, Max. two, three. Ready? Let's go. Go, Max! Yay. Go, Max! Go, Come on. He's like, he's like but Come Papa, on. I can go. All right! right. Yay. Yay. Okay. Did it just on oh camera, not in rehearsal, but very Now, good. of course, treats are really good when you're training your dog, but you have another way to kind of reward them, right? Yes, we prefer to reward the dogs with movement, and it's a good uh, habit to get into with your own dogs. So during class, we do strength exercises, where sometimes we ask them to sit while we're working out, and then we always reward them with movement. So we'll immediately go, we call it a thank you jog. So we'll take them on a little thank you jog and back. And Wait, um, Do you think Max would like the thank you jog? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> you don't like know until you try. <laughs> it's enough for him just to go outside and go, oh my god, okay, it's I'll get that out of the way and then come back me in. Back in. Yes. He takes a nap after that. So, so uh, what are we doing right here? You said the, the infamous burpees, right? Yes, we're going to take burpees to a new level. We're going to do them with our dog. And so this actually works their core and their hindquarters. Okay. Celine and Zeus are going to demonstrate really quick. So they can either start in a seated position or a standing position, and that's going to help their hips and core. So she's going to come up, bring the dog's paws down, do her burpee, come in, and if the dog cooperates, do it again. <laughs> that's always an if. And like they say in TV, never work with I the think, dogs or children. Like yeah, that, right? exactly. And you okay. said, now, if somebody can't do so, a push-up, then mm -hmm. I'm still on So you can do exercise. modifications. Yeah, and I this dog is do... small enough. You can use them as added resistance and do a squat. You want to make sure you sit it back, knees. Don't okay. go over your toes. There you like go. <laughs> there you go. And you can also do a squat with your dog if you want to just do the squat part of the burpee. So you can take them up, squat it down, and up. <laughs> <laughs> the look on the dog's face when you see it's like. And when they oh, give up, you squat, give them a pet, and come and back it. up. So everybody wins. Uh, if right you'd like done. more information on Go Fetch Run and to sign up for the classes, and they begin when? September 8th at 8:30 a.m. at Phil Hardberger Park. Go to salive.com and click on the ad scene on SA Live tab. Well, they talk.